Hi, I'm Kyle from Directed. I'm here today to show you our Viper Connect unit, the newest plug and play piece in the connected car market. Let's take a look at what's inside of the box. We've got our Viper Connect module, our easy to follow quick start guide, and our OBD2 extension harness for those tough to access OBD2 ports. In just a few easy steps, your car will be connected. All right, now we're gonna run through setting up our Viper Connect as a standalone device. In today's example, we're gonna use our OBD2 extension harness to make it a little easier to see what's going on. I'm gonna reach down, get our harness connected. The device is now plugged in and connected. Our LEDs are starting to come on and start flashing through our process. And we're gonna launch our Smart Start app. All right, now in our Smart Start app, we're gonna to go to the menu in the upper left we're going to access our settings and we're going to go through and select add vehicle. Under add a vehicle we have the option to add a Viper Connect module so that's what we're going to select. It'll allow us to scan the QR code on the back of the device or we can enter the Air ID in manually. Why not? Let's scan it. Picked up the device through the QR code, automatically populated it, and we'll click next. The app's now going to also walk you through your process of plugging in the device, which we've already done in this case. And we're going to click next, where it's going to check for network activity. You can see our device is connected, so we can now hit install. Congrats, your Viper Connect is ready to go. We'll click next. And in this case, we're going to set it up as just a standalone device. One more next. We can now label the vehicle if we'd like. We'll call this one Connect. And hit Finish. And just like that, our car is connected. 